Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to replace a radiator on a Cobra 50 FWE. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, if you're watching this through the Handmaidens page, I just want to let you know that I am Steven. I'm Denise's son. I'm the third child, the oldest son, and she created this wonderful idea for us to get together and share our many, many talents because we're a big family and we have lots of talents. And I just wanted to share some of mine. I'm not as crafty as my sisters or my brothers, and uh, but I do have a passion for uh, farming, subsistence, living, and my kids race motocross. So that's kind of where my talents lie, is helping my family in that way. Uh, I raise chickens, I have a garden when the weather's nice, and we spend a lot of time at the racetrack when the weather's warm. Now if any of you know anything about motocross, it requires a lot of mechanics. And since I'm into subsistence living, I try to do as much of the auto mechanics myself, and I'm in the process of learning a ton. I've spent many of hours watching YouTube videos and asking my neighbor from across the street how to do this so that I don't spend all of my money on paying shop fees. Now, growing up, my parents... Denise and my father Danny got a divorce when I was six years old and at first I didn't think that it impacted my life until I started becoming a man and having a father that wasn't there all the time definitely led to me lacking in some serious uh, manly departments uh, like auto mechanics stuff that if I think if I had a father that had been there a little bit more, I could have learned a couple of things. So that's what I try to do now, is show my kids things that I wasn't able to learn. So if you're in that situation, you want to learn how to work on your dirt bikes, I'll take you on a journey and we're going to have a great time doing it. So like I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to work on we're going to work on uh, a radiator because my son is a very aggressive rider, but with being a very aggressive rider, he crashes a lot and his radiator was crushed and I'll show you in a little bit. But what we're going to do is install a new radiator on his Cobra and put a brace on it so it, when he crashes, because he will, it won't crush. His sister already has the radiator. Their bikes are torn apart right now, so it's easy to see. Right here is the brace, and it goes across. It has bolts that go across and connect. Then the radiator connects through these grommets to the frame. That's how it stays on the bike. And then it has a bolt here and a bolt there. Prior to filming this, I already took the bike apart. I took off the radiator hoses here and here. And I took off the radiator from here. There was no protection frame. And then also this is the overflow valve. So when the bike gets hot, it's the antifreeze compresses in uh, and expands in the radiator. Little bits of it flow out of here and then sh go all the way down this hose and shoot out the bottom. So that way there's no damage. And the antifreeze that we use is environmentally friendly. It's called Arctic Ice. Dogs can eat it. It's super great. Here are the two radiators. Here's the one that my son broke. As you can see, it's got this very awesome curvature to it. 
it's dirty, it's filthy, and it has this little protection here that is to help if uh, roost or rocks or anything gets kicked up and it doesn't jam into the radiator. That, it did well, but as you can see on the side, it's got uh, like an hourglass figure. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is a brand new radiator that I got from Performance Recreation in New York. Uh, Mr. Dan Beebe, uh, my friend, hooked me up with that. Then I also got a new brace, which will go on like so and give it lots of protection. So you just want to make sure when you get stuff that it has all the parts. And unfortunately, this didn't come with hardware, so I had to go out to a store and buy some more. And we'll get this baby put back together. So to apply this, what I'm doing is I'm taking a washer, placing it into this bar, this cross brace. The washer to take up the space and prevent it from separating. And then I'm using a hex head nut which is a 10 millimeter. Pretty much everything you do with these spikes is either 10 millimeter or eight millimeter. So it makes it kind of easy when you're going to look for your tools. So I've got a T-handle here, so that way I can just do it while I work, while I video. Anybody that does YouTubing for a living, my hat goes off to you because it is super hard to do things one-handed, as you can see. Now, prior to doing this project, you'll notice that there's antifreeze in here. It's filled, completely full of fluid. And if you were to remove this hose right here, it would all come flowing out. But there's also fluid that goes into this, which actually enters the engine. Right there. So what do you do? Cobra and all of its greatness <clears throat> gives a bolt right here, which is an eight millimeter. You take that off, you put a drip pan, you'll be able to save the fluid and not have to waste a precious resource because for about a quart of the coolant, the engine ice, it's around $22 up here in the great state of New York. And who wants to keep throwing that away when you could spend that on race gas or cool goggles for your kids? And there you have it. We're going to put this cap on. We have just put in the engine ice. That goes on like so. This has been... The overflow tube has been applied. Each bolt has been installed, the 8 millimeters and the 10s, the braces, and the ones that attach it. We put new grommets on. And now the bike has a brand new radiator. Look forward to showing you guys how to do more projects. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope that everything that I did shows you a little bit better on how to install a new radiator and replace an old one. Because the last thing that you want your young racer to do is have their radiator blow because you're too afraid to get out there and make it happen. It's just a few simple steps and then it makes all the difference in the world. Because if you take care of your motorcycle, it'll take care of you. Hope you guys all are blessed. Thank you.